I just can't get them all in the, oh, can't get them all in the shot. Neutral, pink, you know, shimmer, I don't know, whatever. Okay. Hi. So I'm here today to talk to you about House Labs and their rebrand. I know a lot of you have wanted me to try and talk about it, probably because I have a little bit of a checkered past with House Labs. For anyone who doesn't know, I was super excited when I found out that Lady Gaga was coming out with a makeup brand. I'm just gonna sum this up real quick. Um, huge Gaga fan, have always loved her. I think she can sing, I think she can play that piano. Love her whole vibe. Um, so I guess I had kind of high expectations when I heard that it was coming out. Um, I had like a specific idea in mind about expression and color and just like all of these things. And I was pretty disappointed to be completely honest when I received the products finally. They were like mediocre at best in my opinion. Um, nothing like special colors that like didn't really like attract me. It felt really safe. Yeah, I would say mediocre at best. My favorite product I still use was the um, liquid liner, which is the eyeliner, which love the name. It's just a felt tipped liquid liner. That's it. Okay, nothing special. And then just like a little bit extra info, I was invited to the launch event and it really rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> the whole thing about it just really rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, her message was like all around the brand was about like inclusivity and blah, 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 all of these things. And when we went to the event, there were like tiered wristbands. Like some people with the like highest wristband got to meet her, other ones, there were like certain places that like whatever there were like multiple wristbands and it felt so like disingenuous to me and just like this weird hierarchical thing and i was just completely turned off by the whole the whole event yeah and i've been pretty vocal ever since about like how disappointed i've been with launches that they've come out with anyway blah 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 uh they have recently rebranded as clean beauty <sighs> so here's the thing i have the products here um, I have a bunch of stuff. I have eye paints. Um, I have eyeliners. Okay. I have a highlighter. I have a bronzer. I have lip products. We're going to be talking about these things. We're going to be using these things today. I just want to touch on my first impressions so far. This clean beauty, uh, rebrand. If you follow people like dermatologists or, um, is it lab? Wait, lab, beaut wait, lab muffin beauty science, right? I think she's a cosmetic chemist. Um, they talk a lot about dermatologists and I believe, I don't know her real name. Lab science, but lab science, beaut lab beauty, si whatever. Fuck, I'm gonna put it somewhere. If you follow them, they talk a lot about how like clean beauty is really just marketing. I'm not an expert. I don't know enough to have an opinion one way or the other, but I will leave that up to the people who studied it. You know what I mean? So go check them out if you want, are curious about clean beauty or clean skincare. So with just like that in mind, um, and also just how long this has been around, it feels so like, it feels like a marketing thing, you know? Like we're rebranding as clean beauty. So I kind of like rolled my eyes at that. I was like, uh -huh, yeah, 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 we get it. That being said, I did receive the products and the packaging is a lot better in my opinion than it was. Uh, some stuff that I really actually am enjoying as far as like, I haven't used any of these things yet. I've just like swatched. Um, I really like the highlighter compact. It's so pretty. It's like that iridescent, I don't even know if you can really like see it on camera, but it's that iridescent. It kind of like reminds me of um, those bowls that they have here. You put your hands in at the nail salon when you do the cuticle cleanup. <laughs> What is that called? For instance, this is the highlighter. This is in the shade Peach Quartz. The 3D like print of this is like beautiful. Of the like I love that. I think it's really really beautiful. Uh, the formula itself, just like swatching it, is like really nice. It's very lightweight. It has like a pretty shimmer, and it's got like nice sh like finely milled uh, pearl, but also like some glittery pearl, which I actually kind of like. I haven't put it on my face, I've only swatched it. But yeah, so I just wanted to like get you guys caught up on what my thoughts are, kind of like going into this. Let's play around. So the first thing that I wanna use is the bronzer. Um, I don't know how many shades she came out with. It looked like a decent amount of shades. They sent me light level four, which I wouldn't have picked. 
Um, but after swatching it, it does seem like it'll be decent. Once again, really like that. This packaging is like so much cuter than their old packaging. Wait, what the fuck is this? Why did I keep this? Oh, this. <laughs> this highlighter, I mean, so pretty. Like I can't wear it, but it looks amazing. I didn't even touch it because I want to give it away to someone who can actually use it. Oh God. But like, I don't know. If you have deep skin and you pick this up, please tell me how it looks. Cause I just feel like it would look amazing on you. You know, Ooh, I love that. That's really pretty. What's that shade? That's called Fire Opal. Aptly, aptly named in my opinion. So when I swatched it, it felt like um, cushiony, like very creamy and cushiony very velvety. And then when I like blended it out, I was like, oh, this might actually like work for me. Like I, I thought it would be too heavy. Uh, so I'll be interested to see how it applies with a brush. So I guess we'll just tap in. I don't know. It looks like uh, it picks up onto the brush like fairly well. Surprisingly, surprisingly that color actually works better for me than I thought it was going to. I really thought it was gonna be like so red. Um, and it does have a bit of like a terracotta kind of look to it, but it has enough warmth so that it doesn't look, um, I don't know, doesn't look too like burnt orange or whatever, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. Also, I have an idea to rank singers brands and their music. Thoughts? I think I'm gonna film that. I'm going to, New going to New York in a few days, so I'll probably wait until I get back. Yeah, that's actually nice. I like that. That's a pretty color. It's nice. It has like a very nice um, sun-kissed kind of look, and the formula is uh, pretty like even, if that makes sense. Very soft, kind of almost moussey for a powder. So I do enjoy that. Oh, rude. The fuck? And it, like, yeah, when you pick it up or if you swatch it, you feel like, oh, this is gonna be way too, okay. For real? This is gonna be way too, <laughs> way too much. Um, but yeah, it's actually, I don't know. It's actually very natural looking. Like, I feel like it's the kind of uh, product that you could build up a lot if you need, you know, like it added like some nice extra warmth. I am wearing blush already. Definitely thought it would be too much, but I think that's, I th actually think that's nice. Okay, I like that color. I think it works for me fairly well, actually. I really wasn't expecting that. I was like, oh, why'd they send me this? I do think there's probably a better color in the range just based, by, uh, based on swatches that I saw, but, um, I'm probably gonna continue to use this. I think it's nice. All right, next up, I'm super excited about the highlighter. So this is um, Peach Quartz, which I showed you. So I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit more for this. So I'm interested in this because when I swatched it, first of all, the color looks really beautiful. Um, it has like a little bit of vanilla and also like kind of a nudie peach, you know? Not too warm. Like the warmth really comes more from that gold overtone. Interesting. All right, ready everybody? All right, that's really fucking pretty. I like it. Can you see what I mean? Where it has like a really nice um, light sheen, but it also has like those glittery particles in it a little bit. It kind of, like this reminds me of like a highlighter that would be really, really great for holidays, you know? New Year's Eve, Christmas, because it has like a lot of that sparkle to it, um, which I, actually kind of like, I kind of like this combo because like there are glittery particles in it, but they're in, they seem very intentional. They're not chunky, you know, like it looks pretty on the skin. I mean, if you might, if you have a lot of texture, you might want to avoid it. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, I do like that. And I think the color is really, really pretty. It's like a sheer enough formula. Yeah, it's nice. I think it's nice for like fair skin. I really like it. I actually think it gives kind of like a wet look to the skin. I definitely have a feeling that this is gonna be 
kind of a go-to for me for like a more glam, like really when I want like my cheeks to really pop, you know, I'm kind of, I kind of love that. I kind of love it. I had a feeling that I would, but I do. <laughs> All right. So far, so good. So far, so good is such a weird phrase. All right, let's talk about the eye paints next. I wanna talk about the eye paints. Now, when I saw the eye paints, I was like, you're late, you're so late. Like when Gaga first launched House Labs, this is what I was expecting. I was expect, first of all, these are all like neutrals basically, except for this teal, this teal's dope as fuck. Love this. Um, the neutrals, I'm like, uh, that's fine. Oh, there's a black and a white too. I just can't get them all in the, oh, can't get them all in the shot. Neutral, pink, you know, shimmer, I don't know, whatever. <sighs> Danessa Myricks has done it, okay? About Face has done this. Okay, now Half Magic has their own. You know what I mean? Like there are so many brands who've already like done this and now it's just, it's so late. It's just late. I'm just disappointed. I'm disappointed in how late it is. That being said, I do wanna play <laughs> with the formula. So these are little like squeeze tube thingies. Oh, Makeup Forever, right? Makeup Forever has paints like this, whatever. Makeup Forever was probably the first. Actually, let me just give you a few swatches because I don't actually even know what color I want to use. So here's the gold. Ooh. Okay, so when you blend it out, it gets real sheer. See that? Maybe that's what the, I mean, that's, that's, that's nice. I like that. That's, I like that. That's nice. They feel really lightweight. Ooh, I like the way this one looks. This is um silver shimmer. Once again, when you like blend it out, it gets sheer, but fuck. That's pretty for um, like New Year's Eve. Once again, holidays. Ooh, it just keeps going. You could even put that on your cheeks, you know? So they look like they're relatively blendable. So the first thing that I wanna do, what's the teal called? Mint matte, cute, into it. I'm gonna put a little bit of it back on the back of my hand. Oh, it's darker than I was expecting. It's like more of a green, right? I was expecting it to be lighter. Whatever. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this little Sigma um, Samantha Ravidol detailed blending brush. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that pigment. I just wanna see how they blend to begin with. So I'm just gonna place it all over my lid. And blend it. They are pretty soft. I don't know, I feel like that's getting patchy. Hmm. How much blending time do you have here? Oh, I can feel it start to set. They're pretty sheer and it actually looks pretty patchy. Can you see that? All right, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. And build up the pigment. I really, this is a beautiful color. Hmm. Do you see that, how patchy it gets when you start to blend? Here's the thing, they're very soft, but they don't blend perfectly. I wanna see how uh, much pigment I can like really build up. Because sometimes when you layer products like this, there's like one patch right here that will not hold the pigment. Sometimes when you build up products like this, it tends to um, start removing Product. I don't know if you guys have ever had that problem. I love the color, the color is stunning. I absolutely love it. But yeah, in terms of blending, it, it just, it gets real patchy. Like when you start to try and like shear it out up here, you see? But it does build up to like that pigment kind of nicely. Um, now I want to create a little bit more of a sharp shape uh, this is actually the Sigma S20 eye cream brush, but it's just like nice and flat. I always use it when I need like precision. I wanna create like a sharp edge. So when you thicken it, it's actually nice. And it's pretty uh, creamy actually. Like the pigment is very soft. So it goes a long way. You know, like it doesn't get it's just when you start blending, when I start like trying to um, shear it out and blend, it seems like it 
is much better as like a thick pigment and or like an eyeshadow base. I love this shape. I'm sorry if you're sick of it. I just, it's so perfect. God, that color is stunning. And it, it, it does, it builds up relatively well. I don't know if you can see like right there, some pr like product isn't holding. All right, let me do the other side. I am wearing an eyeshadow base. I don't know if I said this. I, I uh, primed my lids like a while ago with Urban Decay uh, Original Priming Potion, just so you guys know. As far as um, moving it around so that you can get the shape, it gives you a little bit more room to work with than the About Face paints, Fluid Eye paints. Those start to set a lot quicker. This feels like it gives you a lot of time to really like put the product down and kind of like move it around to where you want it to be. Seems like uh, applying one layer and then letting it dry fully is probably your best bet before you apply more. Um, but I'm gonna give that a shot in one second. Brow food, chamomile makeup eraser pen, go to. Um, I just want to layer a little bit, see how much I can like build up the pigment on top of dried product. Yeah, they definitely take longer to set overall if I'm comparing them to the About Face paints. So I didn't like keep my lids perfectly flat <laughs> and uh, I got some transfer. So you gotta give it a little bit of time. I do think this would work really nicely as an eyeshadow base if you're trying to layer product on top. Like I'm glad that there's a white and a black because I think that'll be really nice as an eyeshadow base. All right, Gaga, you really got me with this color, I gotta say. You really got me with this color. It is so beautiful. It's not exactly what I was expecting. It's a little bit more green, but oh, fuck. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna try one of these shimmery ones on top, I think. Yeah. Um, all right, so we also have these um, eyeliners. So white, black, blue, like a chartreuse and um, Love these kinds of colors. These like taupey shimmers are so beautiful. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this though. They also do come with like a little brush, which isn't bad. It's not too bad. It's a little stiff, so you gotta rough it up a little bit. But um, in terms of like, I don't know, creating like a smoky wing or whatever, I actually think it might be decent. So here is Deep Bronze Shimmer. Pretty creamy. That's nice. I didn't realize it was gonna be so dark, but whatever. Ooh. Can you see that? That like green yellow, yellowy green. That's cool. Okay, the white is fine. It's not bad. It's not like the most amazing white eyeliner that I've ever seen, but seems all right. The blue is kind of weak. It uh, skips a little bit. If you see when I was drawing with it. I don't know, blue is tough for some reason. It's okay, it's fine. It's not like, the best, but it's not the worst. Um, all right, for that liner, I think I'm gonna, well, just to try the liner, I think I'm gonna use uh, that bronze shimmer, deep bronze shimmer, Ooh. and um, just put it like all over my lower lash line. I'm gonna put it in my waterline, all the way to the inner part. And then I'm just gonna um, drag a teeny bit onto my lower lash line. Kind of close that gap. And then I'm gonna go in with the um, little brush and just kind of like buff that out. It's a little stiff. I think it would be better for um, a smoky wing than what I'm doing right now. Okay, so as I blend this eyeliner, I can feel it start to like get a little more waxy and set. So hopefully these are long wearing. She's basically like in all of the press material that I received, it's basically like everything that like about face like has already said, you know, long wearing, high pig, like literally they use their like keywords, um, long wear, high pigment, artistry, clean, all that stuff, you know. The color is nice. Like for a smoky eye, for like someone with my, my tones, very pretty. Yeah, I don't really like the little brush. <laughs> it's kind of stiff and uh, pokey. Okay, that's cool. I like that, it's nice. I don't like the little brush. It's way too stiff. Um, it's like uncomfortable. 
it, it, it just doesn't blend very well. Like I think one of my little rougher brushes would do way better, but so they, they definitely do like start to set and then um, seems like they'll be long wearing. I'm hoping that this stays in my waterline. Feels like it'll stay, but you never know. All right, so now I wanna try the silver shimmer um, and I'm just gonna place it like right on top of a uh, teal and see what happens. So I'm just gonna put it out on the back of my hand um, and I'm gonna use a brush. I'm gonna use my uh, Sigma E54 brush. So I'm just gonna pick that up, kind of pat it out and then just um, tap it. That's kind of pretty. I like that, like, it's kind of like a taupey silver, you know? I really love the reflect in this one. It's got like, um, you really can't see it, but it's got like multiple shades. There's like pink and blue and yellow. It's really pretty, maybe purple instead of blue. I can't really tell. It's really pretty though. Those, are, okay, are, okay. Those eye pants, the, the eyeliners are like, I mean, I only tried the one, but the eyeliners seem like eyeliners. You know what I mean? Like they seem fine. They don't seem like anything super special. And um, it maybe if it, would, it would be different if the brush was dope, but the brush is like kind of annoying. Um, the eye paints, I really like. I do like the eye paints a lot. The, she really got me with this color. And um, the shimmers seem really, really pretty too. Now I have uh, lip products. I believe I only have three. I don't know how many she launched. Um, I have like a brown, a red, and then a, like a peachy nude color. I think I'm gonna use Mocha Matte. Um, I don't love this color on me. I'm gonna try a little bit of the light peach one right in the center. They're fine, they're nice. Those colors look a little bit better together. I don't know, whatever. I have such a hard time not overlining my lips when I use a really dark color. Um, all right, final thoughts. So, the House Labs rebrand. My like uh, initial thoughts stand. Um, it feels like late. It feels a little disingenuous. It feels like we have to be doing this. Um, you know, clean, clean beauty was around when House Labs launched. And it kind of feels to me like, um, you know, if they wanted to do it then, they probably should have. Because now it just kind of feels, yeah, I don't know. It just feels like disingenuous. This is, I mean, I really like the eye paints. Uh, I, I would definitely love to see more color. That being said, I know like About Face, Danessa Myricks, they have like a lot of color. So maybe they wanted to go a little bit more in like a certain direction. I like them. I think they're nice. I'd like to try the shimmer on the on its own. Yeah, the highlighter is really pretty. I like that it's, it makes a little bit more of a statement, you know, like it does have some, it's got some real like gleam, 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 gleam to it. The bronzer seem ni seems nice, um, decent shade range. I don't know, I don't know. This color combo is nice though. I do kind of like it. I think I saved it with the like peach. Oh, the eyeliners, the eyeliner seems fine. Uh, and overall, I do I do like the packaging better. I do think it looks nicer than it did before. I really hated the packaging before. I just thought everything was like so, I don't know, boring. I do like this better, so. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Let me know if you have any specific like looks in mind or if you wanna see something a little bit more in depth, like I mentioned, the shimmery eye paint with um, maybe like one of the eyeliners. We can make like a smoky eye or something. I have something a little bit like grungy, but also like shimmery in mind. That could be cool. Let me know what you wanna see. I don't know. Let me know if you're interested in all of this, like what your thoughts are on House Labs. Listen, I was a huge Gaga fan, so that's why I'm harsh with this shit. Yeah, I don't know. What are your thoughts? I really do love, I love this eye paint color. I don't know how I feel about this look as a whole, but you know, whatever. You gotta try shit, right? Uh, yeah, fuck, whatever. I don't know, I'm rambling at this point. I've filmed, I've been filming all day. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, hope this was helpful in some way. Would love to know your thoughts. And if you want to see more about this stuff, more co content around house labs, I don't know. You tell me. Pretending I have hair. Uh, all right guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go. I'll see you later.